Hello friends, this is Amit Ranjan and you are watching your favorite channel Java Mitra. This is the fifth episode of JTable video series. In the previous video, I have discussed about the event handling in JTable. Sometimes I saw that if the table has huge amount of rows, then its readability is poor due to some background color. For example, here I have on the screen a simple table with some rows with having alternatively different colors. So let us think that if this table is uh, formatted like uh, like this one table then you can understand that readability of this table is poor than the previous that i have formatted with alternative colors so here i will talk about how we can format our table to set the rows with different color alternatively so let us go ahead so let us create a class as table demo with a main map and just have a stance of this class now create a subclass of j table as an inner class i am creating my j table by extending j table we are going to have a own j table with some different format first of all we have to add a constructor to set our data and header by calling the constructor of superclass with data and header and now we have to override a method so that we can set the color to render in different rows and also to the selected row if you need to know the method signature of prepare renderer method just go to the console and type java p java x dot string dot j table you can see here the prepare renderer method just take a copy of this method to avoid typing mistake and paste here and then override this map table set renderers reference i keeping it as renderer and the first one int is for row and the second one is for column now make a component reference called the super dot prepare renderer method with renderer row and column so in this way we have component reference that we have to return back as the return type of prepare rendered method is component now we need to set the background color of rows alternatively so let us check if row modulus 2 is equal to 0 and if the row is not selected that means if the cell is not selected then we will set the color of we will set the background color of component with color dot gray and if row modulo 2 is 1 and is not selected so this is the first one sets the color of even rows and the second one will set the color of odd row let us see the constant of color by using java p so we have here some color constant i am using gray and dark gray for this purpose dark gray gray and dark gray and one more thing we have is that if the cell is selected so if any row is selected i am setting the background color to yellow selected cell will have yellow color odd row of dark gray and even row of complete gray color so in this way we have our own j table with alternative color set for different rows now create a constructor of table demo create object of my j table with data and header let us create data and header array In this way I have header array data array my j table object with data and header passed here now adding this table inside a j scroll pan 
to the frame and then set size 800 300 put visibility true set default close present to accept on close in this way we have our table demo constructor our own custom table class and a main method so let us compile and see what will happen and import some important packages let us extend our table demo class with jfree and let's go to compile the class let us go to compile our source code there is one error here of spelling mistake in constructor so let us go to compile Typing mistake is here, like cell selected. Now, compilation is done. So, let us run the program. And now we have our table with different pairs in different headers. The selected row is shown in yellow color. We can change the color uh, if it is not looking appropriate. I kid of dark gray, I am going to set the color to light gray. And we can have our table perfectly visible with all our data and the selected row is shown in different color. In this way, we can set color different rows alternatively uh, to make our table more visible more readable now let us try to set color to the header of our table for this we need a rough of a j table header then we can set the background color let us see by compiling For this purpose, we need to import the JTable header class. Let's recompile the program. Compilation done, and then we can run the program to see whether our header becomes red. So our headers have a different color, and then table with three decided colors. Thank you very much.